NASA has just made a shocking discovery that's stirring up all religious communities. Since its earliest days, NASA has been exploring space, sending out spacecraft to uncover the secrets of the universe. These missions have shown us incredible things far beyond Earth. Now, the Hubble Space Telescope has captured something so startling that it's causing widespread debate and concern. But what exactly has NASA found that's so alarming? And could it really be heaven that the Hubble Telescope has found? Join us as we dive straight into the details of this new discovery, breaking down what it means and why it's got everyone talking. The Hubble Space Telescope, operated by NASA, captured a mysterious image in space, sparking widespread attention and speculation. This image, perceived as a celestial city or potentially heaven, was reportedly leaked on December 26, 1994. And it is this terrifying discovery that has shocked the organization's scientists, researchers, and religious people who struggled to comprehend the nature of this unprecedented discovery. The image showcased a structure that appeared to be a large white city situated somewhere in space. The clarity and detail of the photograph were significant, given the Hubble telescope's advanced capabilities. The Hubble Space Telescope, equipped with sophisticated technology, has been instrumental in exploring the far reaches of the universe. Its ability to capture high-resolution images has provided invaluable insights into the cosmos. Upon the leak of the photograph, NASA faced a dilemma. The image, which was initially intended for detailed study and analysis within the scientific community, quickly caught the eye of public interest. The depiction of the city-like structure challenged existing scientific knowledge and gave rise to questions regarding its origin and composition. The leak prompted an immediate response from NASA and the United States government. Efforts were made to classify the images to prevent further public unrest and speculation. However, these efforts were only partially successful. A photographer at Ellington Airfield managed to take snapshots of the image, which then circulated widely across the Internet. The incident marked a significant moment in the history of space exploration and public engagement with scientific discoveries. NASA's subsequent actions focused on understanding the image's details and verifying its authenticity. Unfolds where there's a mystery... There's an investigation! Following the leak of the celestial city-like image captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, NASA initiated a thorough investigation. Scientists, including Professor Ken Wilson from the University of Florida, scrutinized the photograph to confirm its authenticity and examine its details. Their primary goal was to determine whether the image was a result of technical errors, or if it depicted a genuine astronomical phenomenon. The investigation focused on the possibility of image distortion during transmission from the Hubble telescope to Earth. Experts at NASA concluded that the observed distortion could not be attributed to diffraction of the telescope's lenses. This finding was crucial as it suggested that the image was not a mere artifact of the telescope's imaging process, but potentially a significant discovery. In response to the initial findings, NASA decided to recapture the area of space where the anomaly was detected. This decision was driven by the need to gather more precise data and verify the initial observations, for this mission, the Hubble telescope was programmed to its highest possible resolution. The telescope's lenses were precisely directed at the specific section of the starry sky in question. This is the process that would finally reveal NASA's new discovery. The kind that would shock people of all religions all over the world. After several tense minutes of recalibration and capturing, a new photograph was obtained. This image was immediately displayed on a large projection screen in the laboratory, 
capturing the undivided attention of the gathered scientists. What this image revealed was nothing short of breathtaking. The clearer image obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed a structure in space that bore resemblance to a city complete with light emitting from it. This structure, now more defined, showcased elements such as towers, pillars, caves, and other formations that appeared man-made. The detail prompted NASA to name this mysterious structure the City of God, with some speculating it might be heaven. Further observations noted that the city did not remain stationary. Instead, it moved along with the galaxies, adhering to the laws of the universe as understood by the Big Bang Theory. This movement was peculiar. The city seemed to drift away from Earth, positioning itself as a potentially central point in the universe. To illustrate this, NASA used a computer model showing how galaxies drifted away from this city. The investigation also highlighted the city's unique movement patterns. Unlike other celestial objects observed to move away from Earth, the City of God exhibited a different trajectory, suggesting it could be moving towards a specific yet unknown destination. This pattern raised questions about the city's role and significance in the broader structure of the universe. Scientists, intrigued by these findings, delved deeper into the analysis. They utilized advanced imaging techniques to dissect the city's structure and movement. The goal was to understand whether this celestial city was an anomaly or a phenomenon that could provide new insights into the universe's dynamics. But that's not all. There was more than just a city found. In addition to the structural features of the celestial city, the Hubble Space Telescope's images revealed another startling detail. Figures resembling angels moving around the structures. This discovery added a new layer of complexity and mystery to the investigation. Scientists initially mistook these figures for a new star cluster due to their bright and vivid colors. However, closer examination confirmed they were lifelike figures, distinguished from any known astronomical objects. The figures, described as angels, were reported to be a brilliant orange color, adding to their distinctiveness. Some images captured groups of these figures, which appeared to be flying together through space. One particular image showed these figures near the 3 billion year old star cluster NGC 3532. The clarity of the images ruled out any potential distortions or malfunctions of the telescope, confirming the presence of these figures within the space city. The angel's appearance was detailed further by descriptions of their size, with reports suggesting they were about 50 feet tall, possessing wings and halos reminiscent of classical angelic depictions. Their presence in the images was described as peaceful, with expressions that suggested joy or contentment. NASA and the scientific community faced the challenge of interpreting these findings. The presence of angelic figures in the images raised questions beyond the scientific world, touching on philosophical and theological implications. The task was to analyze these figures objectively, understanding their nature, origins, and the role they played within the celestial city. When it comes to such topics, there is bound to be public reaction, the release of the celestial city image, particularly its timing right after Christmas in 1994, had a significant impact on public perception and reaction. This period is traditionally associated with heightened spirituality and reflection, which influenced how the discovery was received. The public's intrigue was amplified by the image's alleged divine implications, leading to widespread speculation and discussion. Various theories emerged regarding the nature of the celestial city and its angelic inhabitants. Some people believed the city to be heaven itself, while others speculated about its potential role as a home for departed souls. These ideas, while speculative, reflected the public's desire to interpret the discovery 
through the lens of existing religious and spiritual beliefs. The government's response to the image leak, particularly the attempt to classify the images to control public unrest, added another layer to the public's reaction. This action led to conspiracy theories and speculation about the reasons behind the government's perceived secrecy. The rapid spread of the image across the internet made it difficult for authorities to contain the narrative, allowing public speculation to grow unchecked. The discoveries released during a time of goodwill and spiritual reflection led some to ponder if there was a deliberate intent to influence public interpretation. This timing, whether coincidental or planned, played a role in how the discovery was framed in public discourse. The post-Christmas period, a time when people are more open to wonder and the miraculous, provided a fertile ground for the Celestial City's story to resonate deeply with the public. But this discovery is not the first instance of alleged celestial sightings in space. Historical claims like the 2016 circulated image allegedly showing the gates of heaven nestled in a nebula provide context for the public's reaction to the celestial city image. However, the 2016 image was later identified as a work of art by Adam Ferris, who used a pixel sorting process to alter an actual Hubble image of the Swan Nebula. This revelation highlighted the ease with which artistic interpretations can be misconstrued as genuine space discoveries. Similarly, the Celestial City image aligns with a story published by the Weekly World News magazine, known for sensational and often fabricated stories. This publication, which had previously claimed to have captured images of heaven through the Hubble telescope, contributed to the lore surrounding such celestial discoveries. The magazine's reputation for mixing fact with fiction adds a layer of skepticism to the Celestial City narrative. In discussing previous claims, it's essential to note the role of image analysis in debunking or verifying such discoveries. Diffraction spikes, a common feature in telescope imagery due to the interaction of light with the telescope's structure, can sometimes be misinterpreted as part of the celestial objects themselves. However, these artifacts are well understood in the field of astronomy and can be used to assess the authenticity of images. And as the capturer of these images, it is important to know more about the Hubble telescope itself. The Hubble Space Telescope operates above Earth's atmosphere, providing a clear view of space unobstructed by atmospheric distortion. It orbits the Earth approximately every 97 minutes, capturing high-resolution images and precise spectra. Despite its 2.4-meter mirror diameter, Hubble's location and technology allow it to compete with much larger ground-based telescopes. Hubble's design is optimized to capture light across a wide spectrum, including ultraviolet and infrared which are filtered out by Earth's atmosphere. Its suite of scientific instruments is divided into two main categories, those designed for imaging and those for spectroscopy. These instruments enable Hubble to dissect the light from celestial bodies, revealing details that provide insights into their composition and behavior. Time on the Hubble telescope is a coveted resource, with astronomers worldwide competing for observation opportunities. The telescope's schedule is meticulously planned to maximize its scientific output, balancing between various observational tasks and essential maintenance operations. The data collected by Hubble is transmitted to Earth through a sophisticated communication network. It first sends its observations to a satellite in the Tracking and Data Relay satellite system. This satellite then relays the data to a ground station in White Sands, New Mexico, from where it is distributed globally for analysis. Hubble's mission is a collaborative effort between NASA and the European Space Agency, showcasing international cooperation in space exploration.
European astronomers have access to over 15% of Hubble's observing time, contributing significantly to the telescope's scientific achievements. And this is not Hubble's first time. Since its launch in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It has conducted over a million observations, leading to more than 21,000 scientific papers. These contributions have been referenced in over 1.2 million publications, highlighting Hubble's significant impact on the field of astronomy. Hubble's ability to observe in ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared light has allowed astronomers to study the universe in ways that were not possible with ground-based telescopes. Its observations have led to pivotal discoveries about the universe's age, the rate of its expansion, and the presence of dark energy. The telescope has also provided unparalleled views of distant galaxies, enabling astronomers to study their structure, formation, and evolution. Hubble's deep field images have revealed galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, providing crucial insights into the early universe. In our solar system, Hubble has observed planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, offering new details about their composition and dynamics. Its observations have contributed to our understanding of the atmospheres of planets and moons, the behavior of comets, and the properties of asteroid belts. Hubble's long-term observations have been vital in studying variable stars, supernovae, and other transient events. These observations have helped astronomers refine their models of stellar evolution and the life cycles of galaxies. The telescope's detailed images of nebulae have shed light on the processes of star birth and death, offering visual evidence of the complex interactions between interstellar gas and dust. Like the celestial city, history is full of mysterious incidents recorded in space. In 1976, the Viking One Orbiter, part of a pair of missions aimed at exploring Mars, transmitted images back to Earth. One of these images, taken of the Cydonia region, showed a rock formation that had a striking resemblance to a human face. The image quickly caught public and media attention, with many speculating about its origins and the possibility of it being evidence of past life or civilization on Mars. NASA scientists, however, explained that the face was a mesa, a natural rock formation, and that its facial appearance was likely due to the angle of the sunlight at the time the image was taken combined with the low resolution of the image. This phenomenon, where humans perceive familiar patterns or objects in random data, is known as pareidolia. Subsequent missions to Mars equipped with more advanced imaging technology have taken clearer pictures of the Cydonia region. These images show that the formation is less face-like than the initial Viking 1 image suggested. The improved resolution and different sun angles provided a new perspective, showing the face to be a natural geological formation with hills and valleys. Despite these clarifications, the face on Mars continues to be a topic of interest and speculation among the public and has been featured in various media, from books to television shows. It serves as an example of how human perception can lead to misinterpretations of natural features, especially when exploring unfamiliar terrains like those found on other planets. In 1977, an unusual signal was detected by the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University, which was engaged in a search for extraterrestrial intelligence. This signal, lasting for a 72-second window, was so prominent compared to the background noise that Jerry R. Amon, the astronomer who reviewed the data, circled the alphanumeric sequence representing the signal's intensity and wrote, Wow! next to it, which is how the signal got its name. The WOW! Signal source was determined to be from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, but beyond that, its origin remains unexplained, 
the signal's frequency closely matched the hydrogen line, which is at 1420 megahertz, a frequency not naturally emitted by any known celestial object in space, thus increasing the intrigue around its source. Several characteristics of the WOW signal differentiate it from terrestrial sources and typical space noise. First, its duration and intensity were both consistent with what a signal from extraterrestrial intelligence might look like. Second, it appeared and disappeared abruptly, which is what would be expected from a non-orbiting planetary source. Despite extensive searches, no subsequent signal has been detected from the same region of space, nor has any terrestrial explanation, such as a satellite or a military signal, been confirmed. This one-time nature of the event has led to a variety of hypotheses, from a transient natural phenomenon to a one-off signal from an extraterrestrial civilization. To this day, the WOW signal remains a topic of interest and debate among astronomers and the general public alike, symbolizing the possibility of discovering signs of intelligent life beyond Earth and the rigorous standards required for such a discovery to be accepted by the scientific community. But these incidents are more than just a thing of the past. 